Did you know that your words are more powerful than you realize? They can influence your thoughts and actions and can significantly influence your career, your life, and your relationship. Here are nine words and phrases you need to replace in favor of more encouraging ones. My name is Chapman Kies and you don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Charlie. I'm so excited about this video. Do you know why? Because I want to keep adding value to your life by providing you with relevant and applicable information to enhance your growth. So without wasting much time, let's get to it. Number one, try. There's a huge difference between I will try to finish and I will finish. The word try points to insecurity and self-doubt. And you are essentially giving yourself a get out of jail free card once the first obstacle pops up. On the other hand, the word will builds confidence. Confidence so much that it sets your mind on the task and carries you through with it. Get it done attitude, which is likely to help you succeed. So why don't you consider using will frequently if you really want to succeed in an interesting different way. Number two, problem. If you think about it, isn't a problem subjective? Every event is purely neutral. You assign meaning to it by giving it a label. So it is a problem because you believe it is a problem. And that is just a perception. But if you think of it more as a challenge, it prompts you to seek for solution, making you proactive rather than reactive. So what do you think? Number three, have to. How much of your life is just obligation? Things I have to do. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do this. This phrase implies that you have no control over your decisions, your day, and your life. It might even give you a victim mentality or at least paint you in that light to others. I understand sometimes we all do things we are not a fan of, but saying I have to do something crashes your spirit and makes you another component of a working machine. Instead, replace the word with I am going to. This gives a sense of control and boosts your confidence. Number four, but. The word but negates or cancels everything that precedes it. So when you say, I really want to read this book, but I don't have the time. All what your mind hears is, I don't have the time. It is an obstacle and one you are not even trying to move out of the way. So the next time you want to do something, replace the word but with end and you'll be tricking your mind to finding a way to make it happen even before you think about giving excuses. Number five, can't. Can't has been the killer of many dreams and ambitions. It drops a roadblock in everything and forces you to never move forward. By saying I can't, you abandon every chance you might have had because you allowed doubts to take over. Instead of giving yourself reasons why things can happen, give yourself reasons why it can. When you focus on solutions rather than listing why things want to work out, you open yourself up to the world of opportunities. Number six, failure. Yo, look, things won't always pan out or work out the way you imagine. That does not mean you have failed and it is certainly not a reflection of your abilities or self-worth. It is simply an event, an event that has something to teach you. Now, replacing the word or phrase I am failing with I am learning puts you back in control of the situation and encourages you to Figure out a way to make things happen the way you so desire. Number seven, hate. Hate is a strong word. It builds up a toxic soup of negativity, anger, and resentment. It has physical impact too, like tensing up your muscles and making you short of breath. Instead of putting all that emotional, mental, and physical pressure on yourself, give yourself a break. Take a minute or two and focus on the positive. While you can prefer one thing over the other, you do not need to hate the other. Saying I prefer makes you more approachable and amicable without compromising your message. People will understand your likes and dislikes and your conversation will flow in a more positive way. Number 8. Someday Look, someday is not a date on the calendar. It is a word that really gets you out of committing to anything. 
when you say that I really want to start something someday or I want to start a business someday, it shows a lack of belief in your ability to start something now. When you procrastinate about doing something, you are robbing yourself of the experience. If you really want to do something, don't keep putting it off onto a distant day in the future. Just do it. Just do it. When? Do it now. For instance, when I started or when the idea came about um, to start a YouTube channel, I had no video editing skill. But by God's grace, this is my third video, third edited video. So you can go and check the two out. And here I am. I just did it. So just do it. Number nine, impossible. Look, forget about the word entirely. Impossible means resigning before you even give it a shot. It makes you believe that you do not even have a chance. Instead, you can say that something is challenging, which indicates that it will be a lifelong journey of learning. Actually, you can do anything you set your mind to. Just a slight attitude shift is all you need. Words have the power to make and break people in every situation. If you know how to appropriately use them, you can move mountains. If you use the wrong ones, you find yourself stuck in life. If we are the writers of our own destiny, kindly incorporate more positive words and phrases into your story and set yourself up for success in an interesting, different way. If you really enjoyed the video, kindly give it a thumbs up and share with friends so that we can keep making them. And if you've not subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell to get notified anytime you drop a new video. So, thanks for watching. Go and succeed in an interesting, different way. My name is Chapman KS. Catch you in the next video. You know, your words are more powerful than you realize. They can influence your thoughts and your actions and can significantly influence your career, your relationship and life. Here are nine words you can free from me. Nine words and phrases. Number three, have to. How much of your day is just obligatory?